Good morning. We're getting cleaned up, getting packed up, sort of, slowly, having breakfast sandwiches and chai lattes from Starbucks. <laughs> Last creature comfort before four or five days back in the woods and on the trail. So, yeah, we'll be hiking again soon. This is a big day for Vince. It's his three-year sobriety date. It may not be a big cake, but it's a cherry pie with a candle in it. <laughs> And a coin that I carried all the way from Canada. Congratulations, V. Thank you. Love you. I love you. Blow out your candle. Yay! I hope I'm gonna walk in. Well, you're gonna walk into a pool. Let's see how this works. We're trying to get back to the trail. We're trying to avoid calling a cab. Hicker Tottrell. <laughs> okay, we're trying to get back on trail. Vince is trying to hitch. It's not working well. I think we're going to call the cab. <laughs> a lot of cars. Nobody is interested in pulling over. Ah, oh, well. It's weird trying to hitch a ride. Like, I don't know. Okay, we got a ride. There's a girl who's got her mom's car here at the shop and she's gonna go and pick up her truck and come back and get us. Yay! We're back at the underpass. We just saw people riding on the train. I don't think they're supposed to be riding on that train, but they were. A lady named Rosa gave us a ride down here. Her brother's a hiker. She says she always sees hikers. So we're back at the underpass. And we can continue on our journey now. Nobody down here yet, it's too early today. This place looks totally different in the daylight and not a windstorm. So, super funny, we got dropped off here and quads and not sorry are across the other side of the interstate. We didn't even talk to them this morning, we didn't know how they were getting here. It's really hard to get a hitch with five people, so we've usually just been doing our own thing and meeting in town. So we just found them. And I'm embarrassed to say it's 11 o'clock and we're just getting back on trail. Trail towns are hard to get out of, I tell ya. Mainly out of our own demise. This is where people camp when it's really bad weather too. So glad we didn't camp under here in that windstorm. Anyways, back on trail. Back in the desert with you. <laughs> it's hot. I know, should expect that. But it's still hot and I'm sweating already. So much for my nice freshly laundered clothing. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I think we're gonna be going up and over those mountains at some point. I don't think we're gonna get there today though. I'm only doing about nine miles. There's a place called Whitewater preserve perhaps that's where we're aiming for camping tonight we're a couple miles in we're doing a slow ascent which is probably good all the little muscles are working themselves back out from the rest I probably got a 18 pounds of food and water that I didn't have a day and a half ago either. I'm feeling every one of those pounds right now. Welcome to section C. Turn A, B. Oh, awesome. Avoid hiking at peak heat hours from 11 to 5. Drink one liter of water per hour. Take electrolytes, salty snacks, wear sunscreen, long sleeves, hat. Hiking shoes, light colored clothing, avoid taking pets. Fantastic. So we're entering the, yeah, pets would be the wind farm. Wind farm, electrical and flying debris hazard. Oh, fantastic. We're also being watched. Cool. Hey there. Look at these blooming things. Just over two hours now. We're taking a little break. I packed out a sandwich. It's delicious. We found like the only little shrub that gives us a bit of shade here, it seems. That's okay. 
We'll take any shade we can get. Currently laying in the shade. We didn't make it too far after our last break, only about half an hour. No, about an hour. It is just hot and we're heading uphill and I think town days made me soft. So it's 20 after two and we're just gonna rest here for a little bit. Captain's ankle is really sore. He's moving slowly behind us somewhere and then he rolled it. So now it's really sore. Oh, I think we still have four miles left to go out of our nine miles we're trying to do. <laughs> oh dear, let's see. Let me look at far out here. Uh, 3.7 miles, so that's not too bad. About six kilometers or so. But we'll rest for a bit and then we'll get going again. We just made that climb all the way up. That was a good one. See Captain way down there. Staying alive, staying alive. Captain is way up on that ridge. And he just yelled down, hey you guys. He's like, I have a Dr. Pepper for you. I don't know where he got a Dr. Pepper from, but I am stoked for this Dr. Pepper later. We're probably a good 20 minutes in front of him though. We just went down some crazy switchbacks off that hill. You could say we're back in the mountains. And you would be correct. We took that 10 minute break in the shade there and I just laid back on my pack and Vince took his shoes off and then we went, all right, somebody else came along. So we're like, you can have our shade spot. So we got up, pushed up the rest of that hill and then we just took off and we've been just motoring since. We've got like maybe 1.3 till we get to camp now. Like, it's been lovely, lovely afternoon. Started off as a bit of a suffer fest going up that hill in the heat, but then it turned out really nice. I don't know if our legs are stronger from going up and down San Jacinto or what's happening, but Vince was pretty much running down the trail after we got up that climb. We're heading to the Whitewater Preserve, 0. 0.5. Only 2,444.9 miles to Canada. So crazy to walk up a mountain and see like all these cars in a parking lot. There's a picnic shelter. No dogs in waiting pool. Oh, there's a waiting pool. Look at this water. Rattlesnakes have been spotted on trails, of course they have been. Gates close at five. What do you think of this place here, Vince? I think this is perfect. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's shaded. <laughs> There's bathrooms. I would just wash my hands with soap and water. Oh, Captain just got here. Picnic tables to sit on. This is great. So we hiked nine miles today. Um, just under 15 kilometers, I think it is. Um, I'm thankful, grateful today for this really nice campsite and for this Dr. Pepper that Captain hiked out for us. Apparently there was at the Mesa Wind Farm, we just walked right by the office because we thought it was an office just for the workers, but I didn't read on the app that it's actually a little place that you can stop in and buy ice cream and pop and everything so we completely missed out on that today. But Captain had us, he brought us a Dr. Pepper, so I am grateful for him today. What did you do?